not really the most ideal pack up this morning. We had a bit of a clear in the weather and we thought we're going to get a good day. And then this massive rain clouds just come across. The kids were up on the dunes and they could see it coming. Alright, so in typical us fashion, looked like it was going to start raining. And as you can see out there, it looks a bit, a bit ordinary. Doesn't really do it justice, but it's quite steep down here. So I think coming back up is going to be fun. Alright, so we're day four on the island now. Um, packed up our camp at Withnill Point this morning um, and we've headed down to Sandy Point, check that out, that's where we've camped tonight um, but now we've headed over to the western side of the island and we're checking out a little place called Charlie's Harbour Lookout um, and also Coin Head which is down a little bit further from where we are now. So this side of the island is definitely more like cliff faces and sort of rugged area um, some cool looking waves and things going on down here, it's quite beautiful, um, but it is very very different to the other side of the island with the little beaches and things. But anyway, it's good to come check it out, the road down here wasn't too bad, um, yeah, we'll have a little look around see what it's like. This is insane. That's why we say don't stand near the edges. You never know what could happen. That's insane. That must have come up in the cyclone that came through here. It's all over there. On that little edge here. So we've continued through here to Coin Head, um, which actually is a campground as well. We've come across this bit just in behind us here where it's quite rocky um, and you've sort of got to pass over that to drive up the rest of the track. So we've just had a little walk to see if you can get through, which you can, um, but we'll walk up, the, up here and have a look anyway since we're halfway up.
So just near the campground here, there's this sort of um, river sort of system that runs through the rocks, which is really cool. Um, I read about this and it's actually got water in it at the moment. The kids have a little paddle around behind there. So it just kind of runs down through the rocks here and um, sits with a bit of water in it. So that's a bit of fun, something different. And it's right here where the campground is. The campground was just as you come over the hill here. Great little fishing spot to fish off the um, rocks and some really cool rocks and rock pools to explore. So it's not a bad little spot. So this in behind here is what feeds this little river that comes through. I don't know if you can call it a river, but it's really cool. <laughs> so it's filling up all these little water holes and things and um, like it's said on wiki camps when the tides are really massive, they come up heaps higher. So I guess that's what feeds it all through the rest of the way there and makes that more fresh, that water through there. So it's really cool. The kids are loving it. They think this is a great spot to swim in little rock holes and everything. So. Yeah, what you think is just a little rock area that kids won't be able to play on a beach or anything is actually more than what you think, which is really good. Glad we came through. What do you guys reckon? I reckon it's awesome. Oh no, kids. What do you reckon yeah, of this spot? It's awesome. yeah. so cool. Oh, look at Whoa. that big one. Holy moly. Whoa. Okay, so that's what fills up the rock holes. Oh, <laughs> that is nasty. We were just standing there, so yeah. <laughs> that's good. So obviously you would not even think about going this far down unless it was really low tide so. so the tide's coming in at the moment yeah the so tide is coming in we'll back out of here and come back when it's a bit lower yeah so cool the things you find hey that's awesome so you can see up behind me there where the car's parked up so that's where we're camping and then this little sort of inland river thingy is just not far from there Kids are having a great little splash around. The tide's still coming in, so more water's coming up into the pool. It's really cool, they'll find. It's like a swimming pool or a place to swim when there's all cliffs and there's not really anywhere to swim. It's awesome. Through the fields of our past, feelings always keeping us close, but it's strange now. Dreams holding us closer Meadows of our youth A hundred and seven days We're calling it backwards Our dreams holding us closer Alright, so it turns out I'm no good at fishing for big fish. Our specialty is small coral fish because so far in this nice little bay here, whoop, we've got a couple of real nice fish, some um, reef fish, we've got a tusk fish, a uh, spotted cod, and what was the other one we got? A snag, so they're even doing sausage sizzles down here, it's bloody great. Uh, the only bad thing is obviously there's a lot of rock and reef here, so yeah, we do get a bit of snags, but either way, we're all having a bit of fun, catching a lot of fish, 
we're releasing most of them because we don't know what they are. But anyway, coin head, a little bay here, good for just a little uh, short fishing. You don't need all the big gear. Give it a go. the uh, Spanish flag or the perch. We're just gonna fill it here because we're running out of bait so we'll just use a bit of the offcuts um, and some fresh bait because they're not really liking the weak old pilchards that I had in the freezer so fresh bait for the wind. Here we go, fish are gone. Red things. <laughs> Stop it. Da -na 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 -na. Use your muscles. doing pretty well today out at um, Coin Head with the fishing, um, just fishing off the rocks there into the reef. Did it get anything huge, which is what we were kind of hoping for off the rocks, but um, some nice um, reef fish. Got some tr um, cod and um, a few perch, so that was cool. Um, and Mark got a really nice big um, tusk fish or parrot fish, which was great. So it's just cooking that up now, so literally straight from the ocean onto the pan. Can't see anything out here because it's all dark, but in the morning I'll show you the setup of where we actually are and the awesome view we've got here. So, coin head for the win. It's awesome. But anyway, come see what Mark's doing out the back it's here. It's a little bit windy out the back here, but anyway. Yeah, it's a bit windy. Straight off the, straight out of the reef onto the pan. How good's that? Bit of butter. Yum. Salt and pepper. What else do you need, hey? Oh, bit of shadows. <laughs> Yum. That looks delicious. Oh, good. Chuck them on a wrap. Yum. We've just been picking much. at it whilst we're cooking it, hey? Yeah. Probably not much left because we're like, mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, yum, yum. Delicious. All right. Not a bad day here then at Coin yeah. Head, hey? Coin Head for the win. Yeah. We uh, didn't have well, any expectations really, so we can do it open and then, yeah, it's a really good spot. So. Yeah. It's a bit breezy tonight, but that's all good. Yeah. Let's see, deal with that. Yeah. All right. On to day five tomorrow. Yeah. We'll enjoy our fish. Night. There's a whole pot of dolphins out here this morning. So we're sitting there drinking our coffee and all of a sudden we saw like about 10 or 15 dolphins go past. A whole heap of them just out here in the bay. Mark's got the drone up there now having a look. Pretty cool seeing those dolphins out there. Uh, we're day five on the island today. Um, we're going to pack up here from Coin Head and we're going to head back over to the eastern side and check out um, Louisa Bay and see where we'll camp up for the night, um, either at Sandy Point or at Louisa Bay. See if we can find a protected spot from this wind, but it's been great out here. A little bit windy overnight, but not too bad. A little bit of wind cropped up this morning, but it's pretty manageable. What you would expect from an island, really. Um, what we do is we set up the cruiser. We just pop it behind the swags, wherever, whichever the winds, whichever way the wind's coming, we just pop the cruiser there, um, and then pop the swags in front of that, and we barely feel the wind at all overnight. So that was great. 
All right, so I'm gonna pack up and head off to the next thing to look at, next place to check out. So a big believer in drones and what they can do for you is that when I was flying the drone over here before having a look at this uh, little splash up area, I noticed there was a big pool up here that we had no idea because we were walking all around the outside of it. So totally recommend if you're doing a big travel or even if you just like drones and that, just get one because it's just so good how you can find these different spots or tracks if you're full driving and you get lost. You just chuck the drone up you can have a good look around. There's a nice little rock pool here that I think the kids and I might just have a little swim in before we head off. It just, it's amazing the things you find. So we're here at Louisa Bay. That place. <laughs> and it's really sheltered. It's uh, we've got a southerly breeze coming in at the moment, so it's really nice and sheltered. So we thought we'd pop in here for a bit of lunch. It's a little bit of snorkeling. There's a point a bit further up there that you can go to. It's got a bit of snorkeling, so it's um, finally get to put the goggles on, yeah. have a bit of a look, and have a swim. Um, all the parts we've been to of the island so far have been a little bit rough and not really swimming type areas. Yeah. Lots of cliff faces and like yeah. rough seas and things like that. So. so this time we will go for a swim. Yeah, it's gonna be lovely. We'll check it out. Alright, so there's a uh, cat gate, they call it, uh, that stops the, all the feral animals coming onto the top part of the island because they've tried to return it back to the way that um, it was back in whoa, 16, 16, I think it was, when they uh, first discovered the island. So they've uh, had this big um, eradication process to get rid of all the feral cats, foxes and all that sort of stuff that's been introduced over the last couple hundred years. Um, and I think apparently they've done really well at the top end, like it's all 
you know, Mickey Mouse, they introduced all the old uh, native species back there. So yeah, it's um, a good little incentive that they've done to get the island back to the way it used to be a couple hundred years ago to keep it preserved. So Kate's doing her part, shutting the gate. Keep out the feral cats. That's it. Anyway, onward. So we just pulled in for the campsite for the night. We're at Notch Point. Looks like a pearl already. Absolute ripper. I think for scenery and swimmability, it went so far. Yeah. We loved Coin Head for the scenery and just the quirkiness of it, but oh, this is just beautiful. Yeah. Just, Absolutely gorgeous. The sun's just going down, so we're just gonna try and nip around the corner. There's a bit of a point here. Have a look around, see what it looks like. We're here for two nights, so. <laughs> I really got to learn how to use these things. <laughs> Good job. Uh, yeah, so we're here for two nights. We'll go down there with the so we'll, um, yeah, do a proper check out tomorrow, but so far, really nice. Yes, yes, beautiful. So good. There's some little caves and stuff around the side here, some rocks and bits and pieces that the kids are, you can see them up on the top there off in the rocks. They're loving that beautiful so good anyway and again not a soul in sight no nah. just the way we like it i think we've seen one person today and they were at the other end of a beach that we went and had a look at so yeah. pretty good pretty good eh beautiful wow this is beautiful check it out oh. sunny's on <laughs> Don't mind the hair, do. <laughs> yeah. Nice bit of a cliff face there. That is beautiful. You just ah oh, can't get over a sunset, hey. It's the best thing ever. Good thing about being on this island is you've got sunrises over the water and sunsets over the water. And it depends what side of the island you're on too, whether it's setting or rising over the over the water. I love that. Cheers. Ugh. It's a boy. All right, tonight's edition of What's on the Cook. We've got a nice garden salad, which is good. Yeah. Um, what else we got? We got some. This is cryovac stuff. So we, uh, when I say we, Kate did awesome with this and so she's prepped all the meals so we've got just chicken skewers in here for the kids um as has got some uh chicken not chicken for the pescatarian we've got just some nice meat steaks beautiful and then on the cook here we've got some uh, macaroni and cheese as a side as well so well fed we're not going hungry out here in isolation no and we're up to night number five, five six, six? Yeah, six off grid. Six off grid. So we haven't resorted to cannibalism no, yet. No, we have not. So we've still got plenty of food left in the tank, which is good. Yeah. Um, and yes, we forgot the milk, but that's yeah. all right. We did forget the milk. Well, One type of milk. We've we got brought, almond milk. We brought the almond milk. milk. We forgot the normal milk. But that's, but that's all, right. all right. We adapt and overcome. We'll have black coffees. Eesh. Doesn't matter. Um, we're not going to starve to death. Yeah, well, we use almond milk in our coffees and um, cereal. So the kids have a loving life that they don't have to have milk in their cereal because they, like eating they would raw. love to do that more, but I don't let them. So they're pretty happy about that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're done all right without the milk. It's fine. Yeah. So it was food... just the long life um, full cream milk that I don't have. Yeah. So Which is fine. Food wise, kicking goals. Yeah. It's really important to prep your stuff though yeah like you can't bring a lot of fresh fruit and veg so um 
a lot of the meals that I pre-make and cry back have got vegetables in them. So those ones are our, you know, heartier. Yeah, and they'll be at meals. the end of the trip sort of thing because yeah. they, we've had them frozen and then we can just cook yeah. them up. So we're using up all our fresh stuff Get the stuff fresh first. stuff out of the way, yeah. yeah. So that's it. That's all good. Plan ahead. So easy. It is. And you can. As a family of five, you can easily go yeah. off-grid for ten nights as and, long as you're prepared. Yeah, and we're living out the back of a car, so it's not like we've got a trailer or anything like that. No. So it's, it's easy. It's all on the car. But anyway, it's great. that'll be dinner tonight and then we'll get some rest and we'll check out... Uh, I think we're going to go try and do some sandboard riding tomorrow oh, yeah, on the sand big, There's some big sand dunes. Kids are so hanging out for that. We'll check that out yeah. in tomorrow. And then um, maybe just another site, another historic site, and then just hang out here at Notch Point. It's a bloody awesome spot. It is really good. Yeah. If you haven't already gathered, we love this spot. We do like this spot. Really good spot. <laughs> anyway, we'll, do we'll some fishing. check that out tomorrow. Yeah. Sounds That's like it. Fun. All right. Good night again. Mm. Another day down. Oh, I'm loving this island. Mm, so good. This is good. Except for the marsh flies. Yeah, the marsh flies are gross. Marsh flies. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, it's not even marsh. Spots are good. <laughs> Alright, carry on. Transition out. <laughs> Whoop. Alright, so we've made it up to the point of Coin Bluff South. It's pretty awesome. It's like 270 water views. Really nice. The only bad thing is we've had a bit of damage. Dirk Hartog has taken its toll on our vehicle, on poor Snowy as the kids call it. Have a look. All right, kids, let's go bodyboarding. Yeah! Woohoo! Off you go. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> How's that, buddy? Good. Nice and warm bath. It's a really good place. How's it, kitties? Good. I'll return it off. We don't have enough battery. And that's just says like that. The end. There's a love heart up there. Oh, a bird. <laughs> oh, squirrel. 